Hi everyone, this is Uvez Bek. Welcome to VFX 101. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Now this is the time to create something new. Let's start. Today, I will teach you about the new film, Good News, title animation. First, open the Cinema 4D. Go to the MoGraph menu. Select MoTeX and type G or any alphabet and change the font like Arial Black change align left into middle and intermediate points change into subdivided next go to the cap tab increase the both bevel size now your text look like a foil alphabet let's make a look more real less the text tab like uh, 2 cm not bad next apply subdivision surface and drag text into subdivision now you see your text is completely look like a foil text okay let's create bottom ribbon area simple create a oil tank resize and adjust the position and add some rotation good next create a helix and adjust a scale and rotation correct the position change some object properties like start angle and height okay now create a rectangle resize and set the position bottom of the helix apply sweep effect first move the helix on a sweep effect then move rectangle now you see your helix is show the thickness okay change the rectangle width and height to create a ribbon good apply these steps to create all alphabet and before save the project file make sure all alphabet and other objects convert into editable let's jump into the after effects first create the background look like movie title create a solid black layer and draw a mask and change the mask mode into subtract apply some feather value okay next create a solid layer and apply element 3d plugin and I'm very thankful to Andrew Kramer to provide us a awesome plugin click scene setup and import the cinema 40 file hit ok now your cinema 40 file completely import in element 3d perspective wow okay let's apply a file material in physical material we have a paint red uh, material shader now you see your alphabet look like a file shade uh, I have already made the file shader houseful gold so next change the reflection color into blue and light type is 360 press ok go to the render setting and enable the shadow and ambient occlusion then go to the lighting option and again select the light type is 360 ok let's change the dark shade color go to the scene setup and change the diffuse color into blue and closeness value must be 100 ok your text is ready for animation under the element 3d click world transform and set the position apply key and press u key to show the keyframe move the keyframe to the last position and change the first frame position like top then select both keyframe and press f9 to smooth animation 
but this is not look good move the slider and add one more keyframe then move the slider to the middle keyframe and change the position little bit down okay this is better than the previous animation okay hold on control key and click the middle keyframe to change the default type then right click and select easy as in or press shift f9 then play the video now the animation is look better good let's apply these same steps to the other alphabets simple duplicate the layer and delete the old cell number 45 and import a new alphabet change the color and set the position when you practice more and more you will be create more realistic animation actually this is the basic animation technique set position to all layers and move forward one by one and play video cool okay again duplicate the first layer and apply same steps uh, import the new cinema 40 file change the color and set the position okay next apply the some world rotation animation to if you guys have a free time visit vfx101.net and watch my other tutorial awesome it's look great now the time to add some extra cool vfx asset i am providing to you four celebration particle effects simple import and drag into the composition and your animation is ready to play next jump into the photoshop let's create a 3d look simple select any layer then go to the 3d menu and click new 3d extrusion from selected layer rotate the perspective with the help of orbit tool okay resize the thickness cool and change the thickness color is blue okay next apply these steps to all layers and create a dotted line and hide the background layer then export into png format import all kids stuff png drag the main composition and apply basic position keyframe animation simple top to bottom now play the video awesome if this video is helpful to you share and like this video subscribe the vfx 101 and must press the bell icon to latest uploads notification thank you